Okay, so ABCD is a rectangle. Point E is the midpoint. So if AE is 6, then we know that BE is also 6. And then we know BC is 20. So the first thing we're going to need to do is find out the area of the rectangle. So what's the area of the rectangle? We know that's equal to 20 times 12. And that's going to be 240. Then we have to find the area of the quarter circle. And we know it's a quarter circle because in a rectangle, all these are right angles. We got four right angles. So the area of a quarter circle is one-fourth pi r squared. It's a quarter of the circle, fourth. And we could see that the radius is six. So it's one-fourth pi six squared, which is one-fourth pi times 36, which equals nine pi. We have to do the area of the rectangle minus the area of the quarter circle, and that'll give us our answer. Okay, we need to find the perimeter of the figure. The key thing that people made mistakes here with is that you need to add the whole perimeter. So here's 10, and then here's also 10 because they're both radii and all radii are equal. And then we also have to add this. Now this part here is a circumference, but it's not the whole circumference, it's part of a circumference. What part is it? It's 120 degrees, which you should know from the beginning formula sheet is a third of the circle, which means it's a third of the circumference. So we know that circumference equals diameter pi, or 2 pi r. Here the radius is 10, so in our case it's going to be 20 pi. But do we have the whole 20 pi? No, we don't. We only have a third of it. So our answer is 10 plus 10 plus one third of 20 pi. So that's 20 plus 20 pi over 3 when you simplify it. Here to find the area of the shaded region, we need to take the area of the big circle minus the area or nine times the area of the little circle okay and ha there's nine circles here you got one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so now the thing is let me just erase this for a second um, the key idea is realizing that if the area of one of the smaller circles is four pi then the, the radius here is equal to 2, okay? Because you, you should know that pi 2 squared is 4 pi. So that's, I'll call that the little r. The little r is 2. So if the little radius is 2, then we know this is 4, another 4, and then another 2 right there. So overall, that means the big radius is going to be equal to 10. As you can see, here, let me do it again just to make sure it's clear. That you have, that's going to be 4 because the diameter is 4, the diameter is 4, and then another radius, that'll be 10. So the area of the big circle is going to be 100 pi, because pi 10 squared, minus 9 times the area of the small circle. So it's 100 pi minus 36 pi is equal to 64 pi, and that's the answer. Here what you need to do is, if x is 60, you need to know that this angle here is also 60. Why? Because this is equal to this because all radii are equal. So that means the angles opposite the equal sides also have to be equal. So therefore we know this is 60, and then that has to be 60. And once you know two angles equal 60, that means they equal up to 120, the third angle has to be 60. So now we know the central angle here is 60 degrees. So if the radius is 6, the area of the whole circle is pi 6 squared, that's 36 pi. But here we don't have the whole circle. We have only 60 degrees, which you should know is 1 sixth of the circle. So you have 1 sixth of 36 pi, which will equal 6 pi. And that's the answer for the shaded region. Now for this one we have to work backwards. If we know the area of the shaded region is 8 pi, so we know the shaded is equal to 8 pi. The area of the whole circle 
is going to be pi, the radius is 8, so pi 8 squared is 64 pi. So if you realize here the area of the shaded, let's see what fraction that is of the area of the whole. So the pi's cancel out and we find it reduces to 1 eighth. So here we have 1 eighth of the circle being shaded. You should know from the formula sheet that 1 eighth of the circle, what angle does that correspond to? That's 45 degrees. It's a slice of pizza. A slice of pizza is 45 degrees. So here we have to work backwards. We realize that the area of the shaded region was 1 eighth of the area of the whole circle. So therefore we know that the angle must have been 1 eighth of the angle which is 45 degrees. So again we're going to have to realize commonalities. If the area of the big circle is 196 pi, then you should realize 196 is equal to 14 squared. So therefore the big radius is equal to 14. If the radius from here to if the distance from here to here is 14, then we know that the little radius from here to here is just 7. So then we have the area of the big circle is 196 pi minus the area of the little circle is pi 7 squared, which is 49 pi. So you get 196 pi minus 49 pi. And that's going to be um, one second. Let's do that out, and you could obviously use a calculator. 147 pi is going to be our answer. Okay, so now for this, we need to know that the area of an equilateral triangle is going to be side squared radical 3 over 4, and we derived it in the beginning section of this chapter. So take a look at that if you don't know it. But you should either be able to derive or memorize the formula for an equilateral triangle. Personally, I prefer that you know how to do both. Because learning how to derive it is going to help you understand other things that you need to know. But also if you memorize it and it happens to come up on the test, then it'll save you time. So if the circumference is equal to 16 pi, we know the diameter is equal to 16. That's the for circumference equals diameter pi. So then we know that the, the diameter is 16. Well, that's just going to be a side of an equilateral triangle. So now the area is 16 squared, radical 3 over 4. 16 squared is 256, radical 3 over 4. And then let's divide 256 by 4. And as you can see, I don't use a calculator for any of the questions. Um, 60, so the answer is going to be 64 radical 3. Now let's try this one here. The circle O has a radius of 6. The, and we know this is an equilateral triangle. Now the reason why we needed to know this is an equilateral triangle is because 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So the area of the whole circle would be pi 6 squared is 36 pi. But do we have the whole circle? No. We're missing this slice of the circle, which is 1 6 of 36 pi, which would equal 6 pi. So the whole circle would be 36 pi, but we're missing 6 pi. So 36 pi minus 6 pi equals 30 pi. And again, in this question, I assume that you know 60 degrees is 1 6 of the area. So by now you should get the hang of that. Here, the side length of the square is 4. So that means all the sides are 4. We need to find the diagonal here, and you'll see why in a second. We know that if two sides are equal in a right triangle, then the third side has to be side radical 2. Refer to the 45, 45, 90 triangle if you're not sure how to do that. So now we could see here that if we take half of this here, the blue is going to be 2 radical 2. Because if the red here is 4 radical 2, that's the diameter, then the radius is just half of that. So we know that the radius of the circle is equal to 2 radical 2. So now what's the area? The area is 2 radical 2 squared times 
pi, which when you put that on the calculator, you get four. You're gonna get eight pi. Let me just recap quickly what I did. I knew that this is four and this is four because it's a square. Then I knew that the the diagonal, which is also the diameter of the circle, is equal to four radical two. But we know to find the area of a circle, we need the radius. So I cut it in half to get the radius, and then I did pi r squared. This is a tricky question here. The side length is 12, and it bisects AO. So the edge of the circle bisects AO. So we know that's 6, and that's 6, and the whole thing is 12. So what do we need to do to find this, the area of the whole figure? What a lot of people do is they add the circle plus the triangle. And I'll sh let me explain before we do anything why that would be wrong, to just add the circle and the triangle. Watch. If I add the circle, I'm adding up the area of the purple. If I add the, uh, the triangle, I'm adding up the area of the green. As you can see here, there's an overlap where I essentially double counted that region. And if you double count something, obviously you only want to count something once, not twice. So what we need to do is we need to find the area of the circle plus the area of the equilateral triangle minus this little sector of the circle, minus the little, the little yellow piece over there. So now let's do that out. Let me just erase this for clarity. This is going to be 6 and 6. We know the radius of the circle is 6. So then the, the whole circle is just going to be 36 pi. And then we know that the area, the side length of the triangle is 12. So we know the formula 12 squared radical 3 over 4, which is 144 radical 3 over 4, which will equal 36 radical 3. So that's 36 radical 3. Let me just double check to make sure that's right. Yep. Okay, perfect. Now what we need to do is, since this is an equilateral triangle, we know that that's 60 degrees, and we're going to have to subtract the area of this sector here, which is just 1 -sixth of 36 pi, which we know is just going to be 6 pi. So we have 36 pi minus 6 pi, that's 30 pi, minus 36 radical 3, and that's our answer. If you're not sure at why we double count the overlap region, refer back to the beginning of the chapter um, in, the, in the formula sheet, and it explains that you can't double count the overlap region. If you're not sure about the areas for triangle, uh, equilateral triangle, for circle, or part of a circle, then also refer back to that.